What is the difference between sadaka and zakat? By definition, zakat means to purify, to increase. It means goodness, it means blessing. And sadaka comes from the root word sitk, which means sincerity. So it is the sincerity and faith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zakat, by definition, according to Islamic Sharia, is an obligatory charity which every Muslim who owns more than the nisab level or surplus wealth, if he has it with him for a year's period, he has to give 2.5% on it every year. As far as Sadka is concerned, it is an optional charity. Zakat is also worship of Allah, or being the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sadka is also worship of Allah, it's obeying Allah, but it is voluntary. The major differences between zakat and sadqa is that there are certain conditions required. For zakat, number one, it is given on certain goods. For example, gold, silver, ornaments containing gold or silver, merchandise, it can be business activities, farm produce, cattle, and all the categories. Whereas sadqa, you don't have to possess any wealth that you have to give sadqa. It can be just given sadqa. Point number two, in zakat, these properties and surplus wealth should be with you for one full year, then you have to give zakat. Sadqa, there is no necessity of any particular wealth being with you for such and such a period. You can just give it without any time period. Point number three, you should have a nisab level of these wealth. Only when you achieve nisab level, for example, if you have gold weighing 85 grams, then you have to give zakat. Or silver, 595 grams. If it's less than that, no zakat is there. Sadka, irrespective of the property you have, less, more, irrespective, you can give voluntary. The other difference is, zakat can only be given to the eight categories who are permitted to receive zakat in the Quran. Surah Tawbah, chapter number nine, verse number 60, the poor people, the needy, etc., which we discussed earlier. Sadka, it can be given to anyone. It can be given to the categories of zakat, it can be given to the categories outside zakat. There is no limitation, no binding whatsoever. Point number five. If a person who is liable to pay zakat and does not pay zakat and he dies, then his children, his heir, have to see to it that the zakat is paid off. If it's from his property before distributing the wealth, it should be paid off. That's a liability, which is not the case of sadka. Person who intends to do sadka and he dies, his head need not fulfill that. It is his own intention. If they want, they can. It's optional. Number six, if you don't give zakat, which is the pillar of Islam obligation, it's compulsory, you'll be punished for that. As Allah says in Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 34 35, you'll be branded with the fire from hell, with that gold on which you haven't paid zakat, which is not the case in sadka. Point number seven, Zakat cannot be given to the descendants of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is not the case with Sadka, you can give it to the Prophet also and to his family. Point number eight, you cannot give Zakat to the dependents. A father can't give to the son, a person can't give to his father. Whereas Sadka, a father can give to his son, a son can give to the father, irrespective of the dependent or not. Point number nine, Zakat in most categories cannot be given to the rich and the healthy. Sadka can be given to the rich and the healthy. Zakat cannot be given to the non-Muslims. Sadka can be given to the non-Muslims. So these are the major thirteen differences between Zakat and Sadka.